Are we ready to meditate with Kari? Today is all about the clouds. The clouds and your imagination. I've always thought that there was a world beyond the clouds. higher than we can see in the sky. Today's meditation and story is all about Cirrus City, a world made from clouds. Now you can listen to this meditation as you drive in your car or fly on a plane or ride on a train. All you have to do is look up and watch the sky. Or you can listen to this in bed and close your eyes and imagine that you're staring at the sky. Either way, this is all about a very magical city. Can you imagine if clouds were like people and they had different personalities? That's what this story is all about. Look up at the clouds, look up at the sky. There's so many different types of clouds. The big, white, fluffy clouds that sometimes form into shapes are called cumulus. They're my favorite kind of clouds. They're big and they're heavy and they're full of water vapor. They like to keep hold of their water. But their favorite thing to do is learn how to make shapes. So from being very small clouds, it's almost as if they go to cloud school to learn all about how to make shapes Make those shapes look like animals, mountains, candy floss. That's a cumulus cloud. Stratocumulus clouds are higher in the sky and they make ripples. They look like ripples and waves going through the sky. Stratocumulus clouds like to surf and sled and play on the ripples. They're very happy clouds. They're always doing something. And then we have cumulus nimbus clouds. That's a fancy name, isn't it? Cumulus nimbus. These clouds are what I like to call kind of sad, unhappy clouds. And sometimes they have disagreements and get a little bit angry. And when that happens, They cause thunder and they cause rain and hail and sometimes they can even cause 
tornadoes. That's a cumulus nimbus cloud. Now can you imagine what would happen if cirrus clouds, the big white fluffy clouds that like to keep hold of the water vapor, and nimbus clouds, the ones that like to create thunder and rain, what would happen if they had a disagreement? Mm -hmm. That's what today is all about. Up in the clouds, far, far away, there is another world. Another world that we can barely see. Just look up at the sky and imagine for yourself if all the different clouds up there all lived in a world and they all had to find a way to get along even though they were very, very different. Cirrus clouds were quite serious about making shapes. They were a serious kind of cloud. They were organized. They were dedicated to learning. And then you go get someone like a Stratos Cumulus cloud that was all about fun, remember? They liked to surf. They liked to go sledding on the waves in the sky. They were very different from Cirrus kind of clouds. Cirrus, Sirius. And Strato, silly Strato, that's what we can call them. Cirrus, Sirius, big, white, and fluffy. And Strato, cumulus, crazy clouds. And then those nimbus, nimbus, nimbusons. They were the angry, rain causing clouds. How are they all supposed to get along? Think about it. They're all so different. It's like down here on Earth, there's so many different types of people, and we're all so different and yet we're expected to get along. Sometimes it's difficult, especially when people are so different from yourself. Well, that's what the clouds thought. They were like, how are we supposed to get along when we're all so different? Doesn't seem very fair, does it? Those Nimbus clouds are always causing trouble they're always so negative and angry. And those silly stratus clouds, they just never take anything serious. They're playing around all the time, riding on the waves, riding on the, the big sleds, going through the sky, not thinking about anything but fun. In Cirrus City, you would think everybody would like be like us. Serious. We have a job to do. We have to create waves with shapes. Clouds with shapes. How are we supposed to do that when we're dealing with silly clouds and angry clouds? They decided to have a meeting. A meeting where one main cloud from each group had to come together to talk about what was going to do. What would they do about this problem?
The leader of the Cirrus Group, the serious Cirrus Group, said. My group of clouds is very, very serious about this, and we're very disturbed with all the shenanigans going on with the stratocumulus clouds. Those strato clouds are quite silly. They never take anything seriously. And the stratocumulus leader said, well, you know, it's a real bummer when those nimbus clouds, all they want to do is be angry and depressed and argue with each other. They're always at war. And their wars create thunder. Sometimes even tornadoes. It's a real bummer, dude. All we want to do is just chill. We want to just chill out. Hang out. Have fun. Life's too short. You know what I mean, dudes? And then the Nimbus leader was like, oh, You guys are useless. At least we do something with the sky. All you guys do is ride waves and make shapes. We create thunder. We make stuff happen on Earth. We're the coolest group. They all realized that they were all very different and coming together to try and make a solution maybe wasn't the thing to do. Maybe they were never gonna get a solution. Maybe the only thing that the clouds could do was realize that they were all so different that they had to find a way to accept each other's differences, not fight about them. That wasn't going to get them anywhere, apart from making those Nimbus guys extremely happy because they like war. They like it when there's war because then they get thunder and lightning and destruction. The strato clouds are too cool for that stuff. They're all about peace and fun. They have to find a way to just acknowledge the fact that they're all so very different and that's okay. Just like everybody down here on earth is very, very different. We have different cultures, different nationalities, ethnicities, different races. We have different beliefs, traditions, religions. Yet, we all need to try and see that that's okay. We all need to try and get along. So the best thing that you can do for the clouds is every time you look in the sky, you think about the big white fluffy clouds and all of those shapes and how serious they can be and just see them chilling out and having a bit more fun. And then you see the ripply clouds and you think about the strato silly clouds, the surfer dude clouds that don't take anything serious. And you think about them maybe just sometimes being a little bit more serious, just to balance it out. And then those cumulus nimbus guys, the angry guys that like to create thunder, they're way, way, way up in that sky, behind all the other clouds. 
so you might not be able to see them when you look at the sky. But all you have to do is just close your eyes and send them a happy wish. Send them a little bit of happiness so that they stop being so angry. That's what you can do every time you look up at the sky. You can see all those different clouds getting along. And that will help all those people down here to get along too. Just by seeing it in your mind. And so it is. Namaste, my little friend. Let me know which cloud you would be.